Wind Waker is a game about picking wind direction. There is a bit more to it, uh, but this is 90% of it. The game begins with a backstory. Long ago, there was a game that won a bunch of awards about a guy in green clothing that killed a pig. Then the pig came back, but the guy was too busy collecting masks, so the country disappeared. But the story of the boy remain, because of YouTube top 10 lists. In Wind Waker, you play as Link, first name Toon. Today is his birthday. He turns the same age as... Uh, well, I named him Boot Eater. Their age is never determined, so I'm gonna guess like 45? To celebrate, he has to dress up like him. And then our sister gives us a telescope that we will never use. Except for now. Uh, bird people are postmen. Hey, you know the guys that shit everywhere? What if they deliver mail? Is that another postman delivering a small boy being chased by pirates? The pirates break the bird's neck and then drops the girl? Sis wants us to help her. Why? She's dead. Very dead. <sighs> but first, get a legendary sword because you're pissed and dressed right. This lucky bastard is named Tetra. It's the same age as us, but he's already a pirate captain. We suck. Yes, yeah, Sis, you better be happy I rescue. God damn it! Can girls in Nintendo games just stop getting kidnapped? Link realizes all the work he has to do now and decides to end it. But the pirates catch him. This is gonna take forever. After the bird postman threatens to make their ship uncleanable, we are allowed to ride with the pirates. But first grandma gives Link the family shield. Would have preferred something new instead of a decoration. Off to an evil fort. This short person has a challenge for us in the boat basement. It's a lot of fun! Because you didn't break your controller, you get a trash bag. We made it, but can't get in. So the pirates decides to kill Link. It's your own fault for trusting criminals. But Link doesn't die because he's a cartoon. This part of the game is stressful and terrifying. So before doing this dungeon, contact your doctor. Hey, there's the sister! I feel like we've forgotten something. Oh, right. The giant bird. Boss fight, I guess. No, apparently not. This is actually way more likely to happen when fighting a giant creature. He takes us to someone that does a head wave. No, birdie, don't throw him away. I meant bring him here. Link flies a kilometer and gets crushed against the waves. Yet only loses one heart. Have you come to your senses yet? Nope. Nope, we definitely have a concussion. Hello, I'm a talking ship. The guy you just saw was Ganon. Used to be in prison, but now he's out on parole. I know you're 10, but you should kill him. Because you have green clothes. Then the ship decides to be our manager without asking us. To stand up to this Ganon fella, we need some balls. Three magic pearls. First one is on Dragon Roost Island. It's a post office. And there is a dragon on top that seems to have explosive diarrhea. This one kid wants to go up and talk to the crazy dragon. Good idea. Maybe the one thing that can calm him down is grilled chicken. Huge problem. This whiner kid has the ball and will only give it to us if we calm down the fat salamander. I guess we have to kill him. Doesn't get more calm than that. Shout out to all the kids that figured this one out. Took me like an hour. Welcome to Dragon Rooster Cave. The first real dungeon. It's a lava cave. Lava is surprisingly hot. This cave might be like 200 degrees. So bring a bottle of water. Oh no, she's behind bars. Definitely guilty. But this is a case for a Deku lawyer in Deku, New York. Grappling hook. I get stuck a lot in this game, and every time it's the grappling hook. The dragon was angry because there was a giant scorpion under him. Fuck that! We tell the kid that we'll beat him up if he doesn't give us the ball. We did it! Second ball is in this tree, held by another tree. Slime starts growing on his face, and the boat is telling us to help him. But I think he should see a doctor? Also, is this entire world just made up of inanimate talking objects? Oh, you want the pearl? Sure, I'll give you the pearl right now. Awesome, that was easier... Uh... 
Something inconvenient and selfish happened. Here's a leaf. Use the leaf to travel to a neighbor tree to rescue a smaller tree. God, we need a forest fire. Welcome to the forest dungeon. It's not fun. Barely working puzzles, frustrating enemies, and you get a boomerang. All of my memories of the boomerang are painful. Here it's kind of fun, but gets useless by the next dungeon. Hey, it's the guy. He died. Boss fights. Oh, it died because of negligence. Like every flower I've ever owned. Okay, I'll give you the pearl now. But first you have to stay for his violin recital. Oh god, really starting to regret this. Can't my sister just rot? The third pearl is held by a giant fish named Jabon on this destroyed island. The postman shows up. The giant fish left ages ago after the arrival of Japanese whalers. Then BP showed up and this is what's left. Jabon is on Link's home island. Nice, then it can wait until Christmas. No, the pirates are also trying to find a way to get to him. They are hiding their ship behind the town. Hiding. The pirates themselves are in the bomb shop, file sharing that guy's bombs. Idiot pirates forgot to take his money and they forgot to kill the witness. I guess it's up to me. Entering the ship's password only took me five tries. Fuck case sensitivity. Oh, we have to do this again. First time was very frustrating, so maybe this time it's worse. It's way worse. Yay, explosives. Something we should give every 10 year old. In front of Jabo's hideout, there is a deadly whirlpool. Solve this by switching the GameCube's location to the southern hemisphere. We finally meet the fish and ask for the ball. He says no. But we have a cannon! Yay, finally! You put the balls on these statues. But now anyone can grab them, at least use glue or a cheap cable lock. Then the statues become girls and shoot lasers at each other. I say sentences like that way too often. A tower appeared that gotta be full of water damages. Landlord of this place is gonna go bankrupt. Escort three slow moving rocks to a platform. This has every sign of being frustrating. It's not. I'm actually angry. This didn't make me angry. Get the bow! Now I'm sure random eye shapes will appear all over the place. Gathering the three creates an elevator that leads outside. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I ain't finding it. Boss time, this statue is going to test us. How does that work? We need bombs to beat him. Did the builders of this temple just assume that people would bring explosives? We did it, yay! Glowing water. Now we can go down to Nintendo 64 Zelda. Apparently the gods froze this place in time because they are really stuck with the whole Ocarina is the best mentality. They also made it black and white because that's artistic. Something really important has been hidden from evil. You can only get it by moving these blocks. Apparently evil people don't know how to move blocks. It's the Zelda trademark. Oh no, grabbing it destroyed the Instagram filter. I have to fight everyone. Can't I just return the sword? What am I supposed to do now? Alright, oh, Ganon as my sister. Time to return to the fort. Oh no, Shadow of Ganon. And he's powerful. Then he teleports right behind me. Why would he do that? Gives us an item that we need right now to continue. This is obviously a trap, let's get the heck out of here. Hey, it's our sister. But how will Link open this wooden cage? You have bombs. The pirates will help. Finally, the entire game is over. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? Oh, bash his head in with a hammer once he's dead, sell the body to McDonald's. I turned off those lights. Ah, oh, whatever, it's your electricity bill. We walk up a ramp and encounter the shadowy figure who reveals himself to be the same bad guy from all the Zelda games. Ha ha ha, you can't beat me, hero! But let me tell you how you can in the future. Gandalf seriously explains to Link that he needs to charge his sword. Then he gets rescued by Tetra and the postal office. Because the moral of the story is, Link is not a true hero. Postmen are true heroes. They wake up in Hyrule and the Lion Boats wants them to meet the real him. There he is. Who could it possibly be? The speaker turns around and it's... Al Gore? Of course. When they talked about darkness they meant the color of oil. This is all because of global warming. Ganon isn't evil, he's just the spokesperson for Big Petroleum. But we still have to stop him. Because we are the villains. 
Al Gore makes a medallion that creates clothes, and because Tetra now looks like a princess, she has to be dumped alone in this castle, because that's what princesses do. To recharge the sword, we need two sages. One has the cable and the other the adapter. First sage is to the north, but we can't get in because of wind. We need to become heavier. Damn it! Shouldn't have sold the chicken. A fish tells us there is a solution to the south. An ice island. And we die on touch. Another fish tells us to just google a walkthrough. A frog gives you fast travel because you attempted to kill him. Then fast travel here and what the fuck is that? We'll give you fire and ice arrows. Iron boots on ice. There goes our excuse to eat unhealthy food. There has to be a fire island too because video game. And inside the volcano you get steroids. Holy shit, why isn't everyone doing this? Enter the earth temple. Sage is dead. We need a new sage. Unpaid, at least seven years experience and they have to have a harp. On Dragon Roast Island we hear someone who clearly cannot play harp. Hey, it's that chick. So we bring her here and her awful playing makes the rock explode. Now we can enter the earth dungeon. I don't want to. I hate this dungeon. Slow. And my companion thinks I'm stupid. Hey, a mirror shield. How useful. Maybe bring back the family shield to grandma. No? Okay. Wind Temple Sage is also dead. But I know who has that instrument. Worst day of my life. Bring the dude to the wind temple, forget the boss key, have to go all the way back with him. Escort missions are never fun. At least here you get a useful item and the boss is challenging. Yay, sword charge! Can we finally beat the game now? No. Now comes the part of Wind Waker people remember fondly. Finding the Triforce pieces. Something everyone agrees is the dumbest game design in history. Finish a hard challenge like a never ending horde of enemies. Get shard. Why well, you can't get a piece right now, only Nintendo knows. No, wait, they probably don't. Travel to Tingle. He wants three months salary to translate it. Grind for money. Translate shard. Travel around in circles, never finding the piece. Find the piece. There. I have my first piece. Now I have to repeat this 8 times. Nope, I'm buying them from Amazon. This entire Triforce quest just screams, no one dare to question management. Time to return to Hyrule, and damn it, Zelda's been kidnapped for the 6th time this series. Go to Ganon's Tower, replay the bosses from earlier, this is really cheap Nintendo. They even saved extra money by making them black and white. Then there's a mini boss labyrinth where you return if you go through the wrong door. You were supposed to watch where this sword falls. Didn't know that as a kid, I made a map. Yay, light arrows! The only thing that can hurt Ganon, besides insults. We step into Tetra's bedroom and whoa! Being evil is enough, no need to be creepy. You were actually wrong about all the things you believe in and why am I trying to argue with someone who can't speak? You must die! Then he turns into a giant pig doll. Did not see that coming. Second level spider pig, where you are supposed to not suck. And the third level, where the strategy is to dumb luck. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Gen is just about to wish for control over the world. Then he starts to monologue and Mr. Vice President wishes for every non-main character to drown. Oh my god, Gen doesn't even realize he's still monologuing. Pow! Right in the forehead. There's a heartfelt goodbye as Al Gore dies. But they are in the middle of the ocean and Link can only swim for a couple of seconds. Fortunately, they are saved by... Fuck! So Link drowns, and that is the Killian experience. Doing another Q&A, there should be a Q&A thread on my subreddit, but, and I should have a link in a pinned comment down below. 